the reason why the United States has the biggest military in the world, it's not because they have the biggest population. It's not because they have a race of superiority. In fact, like Australia, they are very multicultural, multi-ethnicity, multi-religious. And while some would say their strength is diversity, no, their real strength is money. The more money you have, the more you can buy. The better equipped your militaries are, the more R&D you can get, the more ordnance you can buy, the more fast jets you can fly, the more super carriers you can build. You take away that money, you can't maintain that military. That is a fact. Conversely, if someone else gets that money, they can build that military. It all trickles down to us now in the crypto land, not because we have anything against the good people of the United States, but because we are a natural competitor to the US dollar. All technologies evolve, except for, as we can see in our lifetime, money. Money has devolved because they keep printing this worthless crap. We're all going broke as interest rates go through the roof. The purchasing power of your money is diminished to nothing. You're poorer now than you ever have been in your life, keeping all things equal. The wealth gap is getting out of control. And all of this is happening whilst we should be getting richer. That is farming, medicine, technology, information, Fabrics, materials, transport, name your field. That has all got better and more efficient. Yet for whatever reason, we've never done it so hard. Well, that reason, my crypto brothers and sisters, is money. Centralized, corrupt, worthless, unlimited money. Story time with Uncle Adam. I was speaking to an old couple the other day who were really struggling with their money. And I started to talk about inflation. And I was very quickly reminded how far away these people were from understanding money. Most people think inflation is about prices going up. No, inflation is about the money supply being inflated. The reason why prices go up is not because things become more expensive, it's because your money becomes less powerful. You lose your purchasing power. Why are you losing your purchasing power? Because they keep printing money. And why do they print money over raising taxes? It's because it's an invisible tax. When governments raise tax, the people hold them to account. They can see so clearly that their taxes have gone up in their pay packets. That is, they've got to pay more out of their pay every fortnight to the government to do something with those taxes. So to stay in power, and this is left or right, this is completely bipartisan. Don't worry about what side of your politics you're on. This is the mess we've made in the West. All of us. This is where crypto should bring us together. The power that the governments have is that after they've squeezed every last drop of juice out of your taxes, they print money, which dilutes whatever's left. It dilutes all your savings. It dilutes everything you're earning. It dilutes everything you work for. It even dilutes a lot of your capital assets that you think are going up in real value, but they're only going up in nominal value at a rate less than what inflation is. And then those who become semi-aware of the issue, they raise it with the government and the government camouflages it further by using what's called a CPI, a Consumer Price Index. Meanwhile, they deflect your argument and say, oh, it wasn't us, it was Putin. It's a Putin price hike. He did it. It wasn't our money printing. It was that guy that we have nothing to do with on the other side of the world who's doing something that we say we disagree with. Meanwhile, we're doing it in other countries, but we won't talk about that. It's his fault that your bread is more expensive. It's not our fault or... It's the landlords. That's who did it. The landlords put up rent because we put up the interest rates, but it's their fault that your rent is more expensive. Or no, it was the energy companies. The energy companies did it because we put lots of tariffs on them and made them pay for carbon credits. It's their fault that the electricity is more expensive. Or it's the weather. Or it's racism. Or it's sexism. Take your pick. The finger is constantly pointed at everything else. And it's all their fault that everything's so expensive. Okay, well, what's your job, government? What are you doing here? The private sector creates value. You, as an individual, you create value. Governments extract it. That might be mind-boggling, and it's like, well, hang on, you're anti-government. No, I believe governments have a place. I understand that some people don't want any governments. I do want governments. I want military. I want police. I want hospitals. I want schools. But I don't want oppression. And I'm not talking about the fake oppression that we're all disguised with at the moment. I'm talking about business oppression. All you contractors out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're just trying to work and you're constantly bombarded with so much paperwork, so many taxes, so many compliance. Just let me lay bricks. 
Let me build people's homes and let me do what I do best. And you know what? If I get paid well for it, so be it. I'm going to put that money back into the economy. What am I going to do with the money if I make a lot of money? I'm going to hide it under my bed? What's the point of that? You're going to spend the money. Let the free market do what the free market does best, innovate and self-regulate. Environmentalists, for all of you out there, you know I love my animals, you know I love my property, you should know that I love the environment. You can see throughout history that when you have commercial control over your land, you're going to take better care of it. When it's someone else's, you're going to take less care of it. Where we want governments to actually step in and do what governments should do is if there is a corporation that's doing something like putting out too much pollution, that's when the government should step in. And you can see that in the West, in a capitalist democratic society, we do that way better than in the East, such as China, a communist society, where they are the greatest polluters in the world and we have the most environmental controls. That's ironically because in a capitalist free market society that you've been told is bad by those who are printing all the money and destroying everything around us, you'll look after your own land. If I give you a plot of land and say, this is for you, this is for your family, this is for your future, are you going to go take 20,000 litres of oil and just pour it over your land, rendering it useless? Why would you do that? You're going to nurture that land. You're going to use it as a layer one solution to build layer two solutions and layer three solutions. Think of Bitcoin as a layer one solution and you build things on top of that. Sound, hard, neutral, immutable, pure digital code. Think of your land as the same. The soil and the ownership is your layer one solution. The layer two solution might be a farm. It might be a home. It might be a shop. It might be a gym. I don't know. It's up to you. And what do you build? Well, what's the market need? But in any case, you're going to look after that land and you're going to make it work in a productive way. If it's not your land, you're not going to care about it. This is the difference between unique ownership that you can control for the rest of your life and pass down to your loved ones, extracting real value out of it, as opposed to a fake quick cash grab, which is what we can see in fiat. I better take it now and I better spend it quick because it's going to be worth less tomorrow. And if I don't exploit this system now, because it's not really my money, it's the government's money or the bank's money that they keep printing and they can confiscate and seize, I'm going to be reckless with that money. That's what's happening on the economic stage. When it's your money, hard, sound, deflationary money, that is, the supply goes down, therefore the purchasing power goes up, you're going to value it more. And when it comes to the environment, I can tell you, and if you've been on my journey with me, you know that I have purposely not spent so much of my Bitcoin because it keeps going up in value. Why would I spend something that keeps going up in value? You may recall, I nearly bought a brand new BMW M5 off the shelf. Brand new, top of the line, all the bells and whistles, over 260,000 Australian dollars. And I could have easily bought it with cash by liquidating some Bitcoin to get that thing and drive out with that brand new BMW M5. Competition, beast of a car. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait. Why? Because my money, my Bitcoin keeps going up. Whereas the car, the depreciating asset, yes, that's going to go down. But if I was using fiat, I probably would have been more inclined to buy it. So from an environmental perspective, and most of you Bitcoin and crypto millionaires out there, you actually get it as well. I know you're out there. You've never written a comment. And if you have, you've never used your real name, but I know who you are. Not personally, I'm not going to find you. It's none of that stuff. I know that you're sitting on millions and millions and millions of dollars. And I know you don't go out buying Louis Vuitton, landfill, man bag crap to say, look at me. What you do is you sit on it. You let it grow. You build upon that. You continue to work. You continue to sacrifice. You've got nothing to prove. You know what that stuff's worth. You know how broken feed is. And you know what you need to do. Where we're all in this together is that we're trying to wake up the masses. Not to make us richer, not to make us better, but ironically, to save the others, to save the others from themselves. War is coming. Some would argue it's already here. And the reason why it's coming is because of money. Not our money, but their money. Fake, broken, worthless, corrupt, seizable, double-spent, centralised, violent-backed money of fiat.